Welcome everyone to another uncanny shenanigans in Hearts of Iron 4 with me your host Mountain General, the Slovak madman, the man who turns Hearts of Iron 4 into videos because it's so damn fun. Cursed way to play is the only way to play. Also if you somehow enjoy this video and you are new around here don't forget to subscribe. Also everyone be ready for next month May I have very big plans for that month. If everything goes right you will be shitting breaks from the amount of videos I will release. Today we will start our campaign with the most European nation ever, Hungary. And you know starting here we have to cope with the Treaty of Trianon. <coughs> Now one day randomly in Budapest Horty woke up and said let's bring king back because why not after all we are called kingdom of Hungary and it definitely has to have a king right? What is up my ni- I mean monarcho bros we have to elect a king so we are um, not just cosplaying as kingdom and finally now we will invite the Habsburg prince and we promise to Otto that we won't be shooting at his car when he turns up to Budapest, unlike for Karl first. Now as you can see we have our great leader Otto von Habsburg on our throne. He is Austrian but we won't demand a referendum just yet. If you want to have higher success rate in that Austrian referendum you need to build some railroads and the Austrians will suck your dick for it. And you see our Austro bros just accepted it and we will enslave their whole army into our army and their juicy generals. It's time to declare the gamer nation. Now we have formed the Areo Mongolian Union, truly the most hyperborean monarchy. Now with that retarded shit out of the way we can continue to support not domestic violence but domestic industry. Or never mind when war tension went up it is more likely that the Czechoslovakia will want the protection from us and they will be mainly protecting themselves from me. Just look at Otto, man with that kind of mustache can protect everyone. And Bohemia returns the crown, that's very nice. For Czechs it's like whatever, this is Austroslavism, but a nightmare for the Slovaks. I'm sorry about that, not really. Oh I love me some Czechoslovak high command, this shit will be good. Now also let me show you one cursed thing. Thing about Hungary is that we don't have locked any of the political advisors so that means we can turn communist and nobody will even notice. Average take a focus to unlock ideology fan versus pick any ideology at any time enjoyer. But now back on track the Romanians will just give us Transylvania or else. And the Romanians don't want to be wise, I have to ask some other great power. I would even give you my wallet for that Transylvania you know, but it would probably be full of worthless foreigns. I will ask France. And you see France was very reasonable with my demands. War in Europe prevented, for a while at least. Also here is one little trick if you want to avoid war with Germany. Just send your spy to do diplomatic pressure, improve relations and then make a non-aggression pact with the Germans because we all know that the Germany will never violate any non-aggression pact. Uh oh, this doesn't look very good. Wink wink. We were bleeding for that blood agreement. Now we can finally switch up our conscription law and build an arm. I'm sorry Germany but uh, we won't give you anything because we have that sweet sweet non-aggression pact. Now Hitler must feel like the biggest retard in the world. Now I will start to be an expansionist asshole and just the right amount of war tension. Otto you have served us well but um, communist revolution incoming and we have a Mr. Eggman in charge and we lost our Habsburg national spirit. Very sad, we could have had Monaco communist state and I will also join this upcoming faction and quickly declare war on Yugoslavia and just hope for the best. 
Yeah, we need the Soviets to save my ass. And we can quickly dispatch the Yugoslavians when they don't guard their cities properly. Cause some disturbances in the Yugoslavian lines by paratrooping on random places. And you will win against them pretty easily. Your army doesn't even have to be that good. It's so over, Bromanians. Now look, even Tito showed up. And we have a nice fleet with Miklos Horty serving a communist Austria-Hungary. You can't make this shit up. This is beyond fucking cursed. Also, I don't really like uh, this new flag that they added here. The previous one looked way better. But what do you think? Anyway, that doesn't matter because now we can even proclaim Austria-Hungary once again and core all of these new lands. Not imperialistic at all, we are just liberating all workers of previously multi-ethnic Austro-Hungarian Empire. Now Poland is in big trouble because they don't have a chill pact with the Germans. As me, psych Germanians, it's time to interfere in your little war. Yes, this is just too fucking good. Now we will see if we can defeat them all by the power of Austro-Hungarian Communist Empire. We have completely caught them surprised and unable to defend themselves properly. We are just hungry for more land. Oh, I'm just a mastermind of my master plans. Also the Bulgarians joined the Axis and this means that we will add another Balkan nation to our fold. We just need to quickly roll to Sofia and other little cities and we will be done. Now I'm barely able to push them but here it will be an epic encirclement if we are able to close it. We just need two ports and they will be done. Oh yes baby I was able to pull this off and this is a quite large encirclement of all German and Italian forces. After this is closed pushing into Germany and Italy will be easy. Well not as if like it's not easy anyway. Yes, yeah, so we will eat every soldier that is stuck here because we are very hungry. Yeah, these people will get brutally massacred by us. We will probably kill billions and billions of Germans. The losses are almost at 2 million casualties and we will see how many more will the Reich lose. This encirclement keeps on giving. According to Tavarish Stalin I have committed a statistic and onwards comrades we need to capitulate these Germans. It will take a lot of work but it will be ultimately worth it. I too remember the encirclement of Berlin where brave Soviet and communist Austro-Hungarians fought the Germans and Italians. Truly one of the most intense event in 20th century history. And after we have captured Stuttgart the Germans just capitulated because collaboration governments are a lot of saving of my insanity and the Italians might well think about where they have their divisions it's time to commence a lot of trolling on the Italian boot even the Italians gave up on living and the strongest Austro-Hungarian soldiers just liberated Rome and even more. And we got a nice Italian puppet like it's not even annoying or anything. You know I really like the fact that the my Italians only lost 18 people like that was probably some accidental bullshit. Now our Red Admiral Horty gained a large ass fleet. But he isn't that happy and he might be plotting something. Yo, what the fuck, I just checked my Yugoslavia and where the fuck is Tito? Why do I have Slobodan Putin in charge? Now Hort is slowly plotting his eventual comeback and it will be big. He one day said, Ishtenem, I have already killed all the communists before. Why won't I do that again? When the Soviets struck Finland that was guaranteed by UK and France, Hort is a smart man. He forced communist Austria-Hungary to leave the Comintern and then he ignited his uprising. He in charge of the fleet sailed to the Adriatic Sea and on land seized the army and he just attacked all the communists that dared to stand in the way of our great Austria-Hungary. Nobody could withstand 
his attack and push to the heartland of the bohemian crownlands. With the communist forces now cut in half, the brave Austro-Hungarians are marching, marching on to restore law and order in our country. The great encirclements were made, great pushing was made towards Salzburg. And with capture of Salzburg, the Hungarian People's Republic was finally crushed under the Horthy's wave. Horthy Miklos Katojana Vajok. And we even got bigger fleet to play around with. Civil war finally ended and we are free from the communist oppression. And I have balkanized Italy for opposing me too much. And Miklos is such a good guy that he promised that he will restore Otto von Habsburg rightfully to his throne. I'm for real for real running on that white terror against the commies. Now that we have 55% and the non-aligned party just pretend that I don't use a console comment because this is impossible to do. It's for the story purposes that I'm trying to achieve. We have restored Otto von Habsburg as our rightful ruler of Austria-Hungary. And our God's favorite emperor said that everything is just a Soviet fault and we will destroy this bloody empire. And everything is communists fault so we will just very quickly invade them and yes we will join the allies this is just the most blessed timeline i'm just quickly running around the soviets so we can create a very big encirclement unfortunately i wasn't able to make that one big decisive encirclement but we are still pushing them pretty far from the border you know this is good a lot of soviets will die so i'm just happy victory will be achieved you know we have to encircle the soviet army in small pockets because big things are made from smaller things we will make one little slaughter of the soviets so we can make even a bigger slaughter of all the soviets sorry not sorry soviets austro hungolians are taking the win today another huge w for the incest empire i mean the habsburg empire yo this incel command looks uh, very familiar to me i hope they won't be holding here for the rest of the war seems like no i am habsburging my way towards the Moscow. Soon I will have there a new palace constructed by the Soviet POWs. It will be the tallest building ever. And I will have my shoe collection stored in Stalingrad. This is just a war that keeps on giving beautiful encirclements. Yeah, we have killed quite a lot of Soviets, but we also lost like a lot. Oh no, look in here, there are Tanatuvian and Mongolian soldiers here. We are Hungarians, these are brother wars, we are killing our Mongolian brothers. And we should be finally done. When we caught Stalin, we nailed his balls to the wall and he agreed to this peace deal. After this war, our Kaiser expressed the desire to rule as a constitutional monarch and form a Danubian federation on a democratic basis because he is tired of all of this bullshit this is beautiful we are slowly turning democratic and more free than ever well got also liberated from the japanese so we finally may have peace and um, what the fuck are these borders now i will also steal all the german children when they are at zero manpower you just want to annex them and then you can delete divisions and boom one million people to our fold plus some extra and we can still make a collaboration government so we have nice borders yes today we will listen to the people and we will let democratic elections fly hey would you look at that hungarian yugoslavia seeks a queen yeah we will arrange a wedding here we are strengthening our ties uh, now finally we got the democratic referendum and you can see that i have been sitting here for a good while but finally we have a generic lead and we are a danubian confederation And we are too based to be in allies, so we will make our own faction here. The based European Union. 
So yeah, in this video I have shown you, in my opinion, the most cursed way to play Hearts of Iron 4. You know, the Hungarian Focus 3 is pretty small and mediocre, but you can have a lot of fun when you play right. And we also went through every Hearts of Iron 4 ideology, by the way. I think that Hearts of Iron 4 would be overall more interesting and enjoyable if you could, you know, change ideologies during playthrough more easily. But what are your thoughts on something like this? And tell me in the comments more cursed ways to play this damn Swedish map game. You know, everyone is happy, my people are free, Horty got his big ass navy and he can be very happy with all of his ships. Also, get ready for May 1st, big things are coming. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description. And a special thanks goes to Razanon for being the highest channel member. 